Hello, hello, hello everyone And welcome back to Nightingale We are in the desert And in the previous few seconds I was running around and I did found a bishop Unfortunately it was aggroed by some beetles They defeated them And now they are here So technically I can try approaching them again and see what happens. They still seem to be in aggro mode. I, I'm not particularly sure if this is just the normal operations or not. But you see that skeleton in their face, so I think it's still not approachable. She was not giving me any offering Oh wait, is this it? Wait a second. This actually looks like an offering. Hang on. Ritual C. I couldn't see it from all the bullshit. They kind of took it, I guess. Oh, and they dropped their oil. Automaton charred oil. Look at that, Goatman. Quite the scavenger, Miss Bly is made of you. You've missed my guidance, though. You gave me Understand that should word of our interactions reach the ears of other Fae, Astroth would rip us from reality. Well, they didn't do it so far. The risk, however, must be taken, for I come to lay rumors to rest. The Winter Court indeed burns to restore Wintertide. Is that bad? Their Gelid Majesty, Byra of Bahalbra, had been imprisoned. Frozen to her own throne. Hmm. Now she longs to escape her crystalline slumber. But why should I care, Robin? Yeah, we all know the feeling when you are going out to the toilet in the winter morning and you sit on the frozen throne. And you feel like you will never be able to get out of there. Earth's arcane histories assigned the Snow Queen the loving moniker, Byra the Baleful. Huh. She brooks not mankind's presence in the realms. She doesn't have a choice. And like this puck, Byra will not heed Astroth's decree. So, like... If Asteros is trying to kill us and she is not adhering Asteros' degree but she also doesn't like humans, so what the heck is she? I know not their plans, but there's time yet. For with their queen's absence, the court's power has dwindled. A fae without arbiter is like a human without heart. Hmm. Well, all right. See you later, good man. Wow, look at that. Oh boy. Wow, look at that. It's an interesting night sky. I see the gigantic ring around this realm. But that one also looks like a full sunrise or something similar. Absolutely lovely. Not as stunning as the Stargate was, but still. This is some very fancy night sky. I like it. Alright, Genie. You no longer need to spaz out, you can have your axe in your hand. Just try not to hit the automatons, please. Alright, so our next thing to do is first off we need to deliver the two things that we have. We also need to talk with Victor Frankenstein and we have an elder Eoten heart to find and that would be in a hunt forest realm. Uh, I've been in one but I have not seen an Elderio then. So 
Hmm. Let me get back home and first we talk with Victor, then maybe Nelly Bly and actually we should leave Nelly Bly for the last, but I do really want to talk with Victor Frankenstein. Out of curiosity what he will tell us to the charm oil that we acquired. So see you near Victor folks. Alright folks, we are back at Victor's laboratory. Where he's still sleeping on the bedroll that I made. Let's see what he says for the automaton oil that we got. Back already. How often we lose track of the hours when our thoughts are set to explore the cousins of scientific knowledge. About that ritual charm oil. You received the bishop's charm oil, then you have done what I could not. Allow me to examine the undoubtedly anomalous substance. Curiosity and gladness akin to rapture. Feelings I worried had left me for good that are awakened once more thanks to earnest research into hidden laws of nature. It is a strange substance. Indeed, it lacks the customary ebony sheen of earthly oils. Instead of reflecting light, it seems to absorb it. While more testing would be beneficial, its exposure to the desert conditions leads me to believe it is safe enough. It hasn't destroyed the automatons yet, and that counts for something. Seeing them up close, they are amazing machines. Will you proceed with your study of the bound? How might I obtain another stabilizer? Stabilizer. Uh, Alright, let's check the first one. Indeed, my only regret is not reaching an understanding that they had auditioned sooner. It should have been obvious. Egyptian, Chinese, Greek craftsmen have all had their own variety of automatons. The commonality uniting them was a belief that after creation they contained the soul. A yearning as with Hephaestus' very own Talos. Hmm. Despite this unwavering heat, suddenly I feel a chill running through me like those from the North Pole. Well, you shouldn't. The winter court is not in session. Will you proceed with the bound? There are many things a man must do even when they dredge up nightmares beyond conception. Those that live without life is a tone, is a tone I once took on willfully and then vowed never to open again. Yet, in the aftermath of the calamity, we all must fulfill our roles, and mine was writ in the stars. My only hope is that this time I have the strength to maintain my principles. Well, try not to make another type of bound. How might I obtain the other stabilizer resources for Nelly? Aside from taking them by force, I'm afraid I haven't the faintest idea. However, other creatures possess greater capacity for intelligent in intellect than the automatons. Those sun giants and their tens should be open to reasonable offerings as well. Hmm. By shopping at Casida's books months ago, I heard whispers that the druid woman sought funding for a foolish expedition to commune with the other spirits of the antiquarian realms. If memory serves, Elden Eoten specifically, Lud Ludivin, I believe was her name. Alright. So we need to find this Ludivin in an antiquarian forest realm, I guess. One more question before you go, if you may. 
How do I put this? In your opinion, when does an acorn become a tree? Oof. What kind of a tricky question is that? Is it always a tree? Huh. No, it's not a tree. A tree has roots. Well, in that sense, yes, when it spouts its first roots. Question without answer is some in the question without answer in some ways. Over the years the only fitting reply I have come up with is this. An acorn becomes a tree precisely when it stops being an acorn. Interesting. Whenever you travel take you whenever travels take you, never lose your curiosity of mind. It is the boat with which you may sail upon the endless sea of knowledge. Well, farewell, doctor. He was an interesting character. I actually like him. I didn't like his abode, though. Lots of high-tier Tesla cannons and everything, but... He didn't even manage to make herself a bed in here. Absolutely disappointing. Anyway, we need to find that person, that Lily Lolo in the antique, in antiquarian forest realm, I think. I can no longer be a hindrance onto my calculation duties. There may not be time for the rest, but within discovery itself lies the restorative power of nature. Alright, so I was hoping to ask him again, because it, it is not actually uh, put a quest marker there for us. If I look at the guidebook and the journal, part of an AO10, it only says that hearts are acquired by killing... Da, 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 no, not that one, hang on. AO10 hearts are acquired... Elden Eoten can be found in forest hard realms. Elden Eoten offering recipes unlocked through Elder Spirit Expert. Wilhelm Nessas in the Abbeyance realm might have rumors of an Elder Spirit Expert. Right, so we need to get home and talk with Mina. And Mina will tell us where we need to go to find that expert. I think that Lily 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 that Frankenstein was mentioned will be our expert, but he said he's in the antiquarian realm, which I'm pretty sure she shouldn't be because the Elder Eoten is somewhere else. Here we are. Challenge completed, fully dressed. I have not changed any of my clothes, I'm not really sure how, but I know that we need to speak with Mina, Has Mina Sase. So let me jump over to this first tower. By the way, our outlaw realm modification is working nicely. I probably need to change it to something else, I like to very the mood. Alright, Mina. Tell me. Hi you again. Always a pleasure. Hoping to make a trade, or are you just here to talk? I'm sure there's plenty in your past I'd like to hear about. I am looking for somebody. I need to find particular people. Any knowledge about realm spirits? That might visit antiquarian swamp, and you can thank me later. Antiquarian swamp. Huh. There is quite a commotion coming out of the realm tales of ritual sacrifice to vengeful fae. There were more than a few casualties, but I hear your expert woman is called Ludivine Sinclair, yet leaves. 
interesting. So antiquarian swamp. That's all for now. Thank you, Mina. Whoop. Whoop. And I am coming back here. I wanted to check how my house looks. It, it's a bit, you know, needs modification. From this side it looks like a stone house actually. But the insides are not fully developed. I actually like the stone structures and I like the two door ones. But you know, from the outside it still looks like stone. I was experimenting with desert fun and they look good on their own. But I I don't think they would fit a swamp well. So stone and wood for me. Alright, so we need Swamp Antiquarian. I reset this Antiquarian Swamp. I'm not gonna lose this one, even though I'm not really sh remembering now what was in this. I think it was Desert Hunt. Who knows? This is my temporary portal until it is fixed. Alright folks, I'll be back when it's up. It will take a while. Alright, here we are. Whoop! Forest Antiquarian. I think I've been here once. I don't really recall though. I haven't done much. And I've definitely not unlocked many things. Rudevine St. Clair. Hmm. I'm debating to quickly do the Fate Tower because it's pretty close and that would unlock us all the locations where there are NPCs. And I'm still looking for a good companion. I, I know I'm, I'm not really the type of guy who just gets one NPC when there are so many available. I'm still looking for one that has a nice name long hair, you know, generic stuff. Wait, why? I wanted to say why I'm getting dizziest, but this is actually a swamp, not a forest. That makes actually sense. But wait, if this is a swamp, why does it look like a settler realm? Kind of reminds me that it fits oh, almost like, oh, come on, if I would have done this already. I don't recall though. Let's see. Consume. 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 Oh, these are pushovers. I still don't have stamina. Oh boy, because I'm almost dead tired. Horrible. Alright, let me make a, a bed if I can and quickly sleep. Or do a short rest. Uh, for which I need to go through the whole forest. Luckily this is a forest realm, so we have a bunch of stuff. Right, so I need one more stick. Which one? Oh, this looks like a stick. Oh, that was nice and quick. I keep this for later. And then we go. This does look like I've not completed it, but it's hard to tell. Second floor. 
This looks like a puzzle-ish. Oh no! I messed it up! Alright, let's try this. I think I unlocked something. Oh wait, I can actually jump from here, nice. Yes, up we go. Alright, give me the dudes. There you are. Oh, look at that, we actually do pretty good damage against these. Wow, I remember I was so superbly afraid of these guys earlier. But it seems we are a bit over leveled for this realm. That's alright. After sucking so much with it, I think you sometimes just need to have a a good run and a quick run. And I was trying not to waste too much of the time. Let's take the free Lotus. And then... I guess what? There are no active stuff. Hmm. Do we have an explorer? That would be nice. Woolwork, combatant... Dragon, Dragon, Duelist, Greenhouse. Greenhouse? Play this card to increase plant yield. Crafted closing have cold resist, weight, fire resist, dust, rain resist. Sun shines brightly and the night sky boasts celestial rings. Alright, put it in. Alright, which way for that lady? Uh, yeah, so it's like southeast. East, southeast, that direction. I must say, this did not change much in the overall. Things might be a bit more summary. Landing. All right, that was the portal. That was nice. I'm not specifically looking for NPCs on camera in this realm, so let me just talk with that lady, and then off camera I will look around for the NPCs. East, southeast, somewhere that way. I actually see a camp sign on the map. I wonder if it's pointing to there. This doesn't even look like a swamp. But that's alright, I'm not complaining. This is actually pretty nice. Oh, look at that white trees. Those are pretty hard to make. Right. It is, these actually look like they don't have any color. Interesting. Right, east, south, east. What? Oh yeah, that's just a hippo. I am not... Stopping for a hippo. Oh 
boy. I wanted to use this as an excuse to jump away. I don't want to do that much fighting either. Alright. We are heading straight for the right direction still. Keeping a lookout because one of the hand traps had like gigantic world bosses. I found one of those, which was called a Hubaba or something like that, and that was terrifying. Alas, Alice Sinclair. Ah, oh, hello. Could you have set route somewhere not in the disease? Ludwig Sinclair. Oh, oh, bless your beating heart, Ramwalker. I'm afraid this is an ugly fuss you have come across. But I'm grateful someone finally bobbed up. Look as though they are about to give up the ghost. <laughs> That's the grating sound of misery I've ever heard. <laughs> this brave soul Teeters between two words, a curse plagues them, turning their body into frail husk. My other guides, all curse ridden too, withered like flowers in but a few days. I haven't had a moment to leave their side, and you are the first to stumble upon us. They are terrible Dane, what happened? Well, I guess that's something behind her that I've not seen. Only got time for the short of it, my guides, and I stumbled upon a foregone fey ruins. Then the worst went down. We had no choice but to flee, left most of our provisions behind in the mud. Quilons. A lot of us. Fey ruins, you say? Scattered around the realm, long abandoned now, but their mischief and magic forever lingers. I get the sense there's more than you are letting on of things, Genie. <laughs> she cut a tree right on top of our head. I get the sense there's more than you are letting on. If my friend here had time to wait for tall tales, I would spin you the whole yarn. More pressing matters on our hands, as you can see. The alien ta 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 human lives must be. Preserve the talk cost. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm neither doctor nor priest, but say the word, I will lend my hands. Hmm, could it be? Yes, yes. An augury, antici au augury anticipated your arrival. I should have, should have seen you for what you are as soon as you approached. More, I'm more capable than I look. Are you in need of assistance or not? Before all this trouble, the Loa here, spirits as you know them, they foretold in my fevered dream that a traveler would cross our path. Their guiding whispers said a lost wanderer will mend wounds, fill their brain with commuting meat. What? Communing meat. Sounds ominous, but it could be me. It's settled then. Lend your aid to us now, and I do whatever's in my talents to guide you on whatever path you are on. First things first, these Ramwalkers are in desperate need of healing. I haven't been able to forage for the elixir ingredients. This is a Ramwalk. This, if this Ramwalker doesn't imbibe something stronger than this potion soon. The waters of the other side await them. Well, alright, I get the ingredients. Eternal gratitude. If, if there were ever a time for haste, I would mark it here and now. I'll be waiting. Leave is Ludivine in case you need a hauler. 
Well, all right, I don't, but that's okay. What actually was the thing that we are looking at? It kind of looks like... I can't really tell what the emergency was. Maybe they are in the tent somewhere. This looks like an interesting ruin. I don't really recall seeing any like this. I also don't see her companions. But this looks like an interesting pyramid. Alright, what she needs? She need find that, 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 that. Wait, did that did not work on my quest? Hang on. Caduchurna, gateway to the watch, yes. Heart of the potion, potion for the healing. Acquire slight curative potion. Uh, I think I might need to go home for this. I'm supposed to have a ton of these, but I don't yet know. Uh, let me go home and back here. Also, I will pause the recording here until then. One second. Alright, I was bunny hopping back with the potion. But I wanted to show you something in case you haven't seen this one. This is a harpy. And they are poisonous as heck. Obviously not for me at this level, but... Oof. At night, I remember the first time I was running into these folks. They came in packs like more than one at a time. They always leave these gigantic poison clouds. And they are like a menace. If you are matched up with them in the same level as you are, then they are horrible. Obviously I'm way over leveled for this realm. But you know, it was an interesting sight. Alright, let me give... Let me try standing on this chair. I pray the Lord might ease this Ram Walker's pain. Though if I can't get him to creative potions... Well, here I am. These look potent enough. Let's hope the Lord will answer our plea for mercy. Listen well as I call upon the spirits. Ekba opened the gates for me to get Papa Ghead and Dr. Jean Montaigne. I say your saintly names as here before my eyes. It's the issue of your hands. Law of doctors in the spiritual past lead my hands in this work of as I apply the offer healing. <laughs> Dr. Jean Montaigne, speaking wisdom to my mind, helped me to lead the rhythms of awakening through this ailing soul. Let them touch this Ram Walker and lift their curse, bring them back to his waking world. This is some strange healing, especially since you have potions. Don't give up yet, my guide. Hmm. Alright, how to treat well? Did the spirits answer? It can take days, weeks, even years for the spirit to answer. Patience ain't never stop being a virtue, comrade. With more time, more voodooists, a greater ritual could have been possible. But Papa Ged will choose this Ram Walker's past now. And should this fail, well, the beam falls upon myself and my desire to commune with the Loa here. With this, in such an abundance, recently can we handle any further loss? Speak plainly now, but recent dead way on your mind. The calamity. You don't know then, a stranger shouldn't be a bearer of such news. I'm not really sure what they are referring to. 
Wait, she is not aware of the calamity? Afraid not. Don't hold your breath and keep me guessing. Alon Z, out with it. Actually, Alon Z is French for let's go or something like that. Ravaging mist spilled from all earthly portals. Is anything left? Capital of magic, perhaps. City of Nightingale and Thought still stands. The center always holds merciful law. Mercy, mercy. And anyone else? How crippling the damage. Impossible yet to say. Devastating but impossible to measure. Then I won't pester, but given such tidings it would make this Rambokers death all the tougher to swallow. Kulion. Ludivin Kulion. Hmm. What happened to your guys for you to carry such blame? I set off into the realms on behalf of the druids and the Hermetics to commune with what most call realm spirits, little different from other Loa to Voodooists. My aim has been to better understand their desires so we might better coexist. Three moons ago, my Renvoker escorts and I happened Fey ruins. My guides cautioned me to keep a distance, but fearing the strength of the spirits present, I insisted we survey the area. Quillin, I was. I'm not sure what Quillin is, I assume it's like stupid or something like that. It was my selfish hurry that set off some enchanted snare. My guides, poor souls, are fetish now, while I got off with a little more than a belly full of regret. Well, I don't think she had it ill intent at all. Through it thought, Cohabitation with the spirits here was within grasp, but after this disaster, could be I was dreaming a fool's dream. Well, perhaps. What will you do now? Asking myself the same. On one hand, this is not something we should fear or weep over. Is that what you would tell those lost loved ones? <laughs> Less sensitive towards this. Will teaches that this is not the end. On the other hand, I couldn't bear being responsible for more of its spread. Most worse adventures come with a sacrifice. Well, alright. We do need to ask her to talk with the Elden Tree. Would that it were so simple, it's my belief that the spirits were here are angry with us, with the Fey who abandoned them. Why did the Fey abandon these realms? Only the spirits know the truths, and if we don't attempt to understand them, we will never find answers, never find harmony. Just like the ancestral spirits on Earth, I believe those of the realms can offer wisdom, wisdom beyond our own. Do you still think it's possible? That's the rub I face, isn't it? Now do I owe it to my ailing guides to continue our work? Or would that be placing my own intent above the worst of others? Curiosity itself can be a disease in these lands. Seems we're all at crossroads now. Wisest words you have said yet. As the spirits implied, you were Lost at the personal crossroads too, yes. I am seeking materials to repair portar stabilizer. I know nothing about such contraptions. Well, it involves dealing with one of the ancient living tree things. Elder Eoten. Hmm. If a means to conduct a ritual with the Grand Elder Neoten spirit is what you seek, then I may have answers down the line. You will have to allow me the time to see what the time to see to the sick and my feet. With the weight of their soul on my mind, I can think of little else until 
either fortune or fate claims them. I manage on my own for the present. Can I be any further assistance? Not at the moment, but I will oblige my end of our bargain, so I do hope you will return. If only to check in my infirm guide here. If their life is saved, I'm sure they want to offer their gratitude personally. I've got little to offer, but insist you take what I managed to put together. I miss some tinkets. You will find a realm card. My guides were so proud coming across it in a key few weeks back like children with a peppermint treat. Should you foray into dangerous realms, I would urge you to be on your guard. Some realms are as close as we can come to a waking nightmare. I will save this for later. Oh yeah. And we got Amphibious card. Amphibious. Oh, we actually have Amphibious card, so that's not much of a, a thing. Um, 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 um. We actually have another quest marker, even though she said that we should come back later. Huh. Alright, interesting. Alright, let's see what she has. Oh, like, bah, I did everything I could. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Has something happened? Oh, you came back, forgive me. I fell out of spirits, is all. I suppose my swollen eyes and dried tears are telling enough. I assume the worst, as always. My guide has gone underwater, as we say. Wasn't no peaceful demise either, a wicked night of torment and grief. Why didn't the ritual work? We seldom know the will of the spirits, only our own actions can be subject to scrutiny, like this entire end of our of mine. Do you plan to continue your mission? If I don't press on, I would betray my beliefs, and without them, what would I be? Well, like, same thing as everybody without beliefs. Themselves. The more I weigh the options, the more I feel that calling my mission off would only sever, s serve to soak their deaths in the wine of futility, and such is not something I was raised to imbibe. Alright, perhaps I wasn't the lost wonder the spirits mentioned after all. They said you would mend wounds, not save life or bring back the dead. I have simply had to find the true meaning of their whispered words, their talk of brains and meat. You still seek the wise heart of an elder Eotenius, preferably without killing one. Preferably indeed, not all walkers carry that naturalist attitude. My undertaking to pave the past towards coexistence with the ram spirits was meant to cum culminate in communion with the other spirit said to have direct connection with the Demiurge, Magic's Wellspring. While a card note might be the obvious choice, men and beasts are not known for their accord. Humans and trees, on the other hand, have shared a sacred bond forever, and I suspect the Eotens would be more receptive to a petition. When then our goals are in the same. Hmm. Indeed. It is said that all spirits have desires, just as the Loa do on Earth. Certain goodies they just can't pass up, regardless of which hand offers it force. If we can learn what Eoten hunger for, doing so should garner their face. And I say, you are one lucky duck, because ancient druid tales tell on each of trees that offer their hearts to men as a symbol of friendship. If they give up their heart, won't they die? Do you take all stories literally? Eoten heart is an inner core of, an, uh, of Eoten's fruit. Ah, vital organ in its own way, full of sustenance, but not blood, at least not as we know it. 
Nice. What could a tree possibly desire? If I, well, maybe water. If I had an inkling, I would have told you. We can ask further guidance from the lesser spirits, those we already know how to speak with. We only need the right offerings. I understand if you're not up for another ritual at the moment. Well, I don't, so I don't say that. Hmm. All right. I let one ram hooker down. This, for me, as much as it did for you, a chance to make amends. The low are put a partial to the flavors that are both of and against their own nature. I make you a list, and upon your return, we will sing with the spirits together in the meantime. I prepare the ritual. Oof, another shopping list. Uh, -param -param. What do we actually need for that? Communion with the spirits. Acquire clothes, cut gem, oil, fan boss oil. Oof. Fan boss can be found in swarm wraps with a ramp power of 1 to 100. Fan but how do I make the oil? I know this is kind of a fish and I know how to fish, but. Hmm. I don't really know how to get the oil from them. We need to experiment with that in the next episode, folks. But the night is, you know, upon us. Even though I was not planning to stay this dark and long, here we are with another Nightingale episode. Uh, I am this here, but I hope you liked it. And if you do, leave a comment, I, because I like to talk with you folks. Let me know what you think, and if you have reached the part in the story where I am right now. Don't spoil anything, just let me know. <laughs> and see you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.